Hi guys, I'm going to read The Wooden Horse, retold by Russell Punter, illustrated by Matteo Pinsley. Chapter 1 The Runaway Queen Helen lived in ancient Greece. People said she was the most beautiful woman in the world. Helen was married to King Menelaus of Sparta. He was proud of his lovely wife. I want you to stay by my side forever, he told her. One day, a young prince named Paris came to the palace. He was from the city of Troy, across the Aegean Sea. When Paris met Helen, he fell madly in love. Come back to Troy with me, he begged. Helen had fallen for Paris too, so she agreed to go with him. Menelaus was furious when he found out what had happened. Paris will pay for this. I don't care how long it takes, he roared. I'll get Helen back. Chapter 2 The Trojan War All the kings of Greece agreed to help bring Helen home. Only Odysseus, king of Ithaca, didn't want to be away fighting, but the others persuaded him. The next morning, Menelaus and the other kings set sail with their army. Hundreds of ships crossed the sea to Troy. Many days later, the Greek ships reached land. The soldiers waded ashore and stormed up to the city. Get along there, ha! Now, all we have to do is get inside, said Odysseus, who wanted to get home quickly. But Troy was well defended. Time and again, the Greeks attacked. But however hard they tried, they couldn't break in. Little did they know just how long the war was set to last. Over ten long years, a thousand ships brought more soldiers to Troy. But the Trojans remained trapped in their city and the Greeks were still stuck outside. Both sides had lost many men. By now, the Greeks were beginning to give up hope. We'll never get in. It's impossible. Then Odysseus had an idea. It's pretty wild, he thought, but it might just work. Chapter 3 a big idea. The other Greek kings agreed to the plan. The first stage was to cut down lots of trees. (music) 
The Greek soldiers sawed the trees into planks. Then they joined the planks together. Piece by piece, Odysseus's idea slowly took shape. After a week's hard work, the Greek army had built a mighty, magnificent wooden horse. Odysseus admired the men's efforts. Now, to put my plan into action, he said. Chapter Four, Undercover. That night, the Greeks pulled the horse to the city gates. Quietly now. They opened a small door in the horse's belly. Odysseus and some of his men climbed inside. One soldier named Sinon hid nearby. King Menelaus and the others went back to their ships and sailed out of sight. The next morning, the Trojans couldn't believe their eyes. The Greeks have gone! cried one soldier. And there's a giant horse outside! gasped another. The Trojans ran out of the city. They gazed in wonder at the new arrival. Sinon came out of hiding. Who are you? asked the soldier. And what's this? I ran away from the Greek army, lied Sinon. They built the horse. What's it for? It's a gift to the goddess Athene, said Sinon, to bring them luck on the trip home. Maybe it will bring us luck too, said the Trojan soldier. Bring it inside. The Trojans hauled the horse into the city. The first part of Odysseus' plan was working. Chapter 5 The Army Awakes. That evening, the Trojans held a big party to celebrate the end of the war. There was feasting, dancing and singing. The celebrations went on all night. It was early morning before the Trojans went to bed. At last, Sinon could get to work. He tiptoed to the horse and tapped three times on its leg. Inside, Odysseus sprang into action. That's the signal, he whispered. He opened the trap door and led his men out. Not a sound, lads. The Greeks scurried across the city as silently as they could. The guards at the gates were fast asleep. Slowly, the Greek soldiers lifted off the bolt. They heaved open the doors. The rest of the Greek army was waiting outside. We're back as planned. Right, men, said Odysseus. Now we attack. Chapter 6 The Final Battle The Greek kings and their army stormed into Troy. There was nothing to stop them now. Charge! Uh, what? The Greek soldiers crashed through the city looking for Helen. Where's Helen? Give her up! They stole treasure wherever they could find it. We'll take this and this. 
By the time the sleepy Trojans knew what was happening, it was too late. Paris rushed out to fight the Greeks, but when he saw how many there were, he ran off. But he wasn't quick enough. An arrow flew through the air and struck him down, dead. Now where's Helen? wondered Menelaus. Watching from above, Helen knew there was no possible escape from Troy. Perhaps the king will throw me in prison, she thought, nervously, or worse. Chapter 7 Return to Greece It wasn't long before Helen was captured and brought before her husband. Menelaus had been angry for, with his wife for ten years, but when he saw her beautiful face, his anger vanished in a second. At last, sighed Menelaus, our mission is over. The Greeks took Helen and the Trojan treasure back to their ships and headed for home. Helen may not have wanted to go back to Greece, but she had no choice. Menelaus was finally back with his queen, whose beauty launched a thousand ships. The end. The Legend of the Wooden Horse The Wooden Horse is based on a part of a poem called The Iliad. It was composed by a Greek poet named Homer who lived around 800 BC. It tells the story of a great war between Greece and Troy, a city in the country now known as Turkey. I like this book. Did you? Please like and subscribe for more. Bye.